Happening today, 50 years since the U.S. Supreme Court decision, Roe v. Wade, which established federal protections for abortions last year, the high court issued a reversal, which put abortion restrictions and near total bans back in place in more than a dozen states. Today, on the steps of the state capitol, backers of legalized abortion were calling for the repeal of Georgia's six-week abortion ban and the expansion of abortion rights at both the federal and the state level. It caps a weekend of debate on both sides of the issue. Yesterday, the advocacy group Amplify Georgia Collaborative held a webinar explaining why abortions should be made legal nationwide. Just like our opponents are trying everything under the sun to erode our reproductive freedoms, we must look at, look at every option to protect it. That is how we think beyond Roe and keep abortion legal, available, and accessible for all. We also talked with Suzanne Guy, the founder of the group Life Initiatives and Values. She says her personal story of a troubled pregnancy made her become an advocate for keeping Roe overturned. My heart is so much for the women. Yes, I want to see full protection for those innocent human beings in the womb that deserve full protection. But I have a deep passion for women, and I want them to know that they are loved, that there is hope, and that abortion will never solve the very real problems that women face.